Welcome to the new Volunteer Management System online training for the Texas Master Naturalist Program. In this video lesson, you will learn first, how to report your service hours, second, how to view your logbook, and third, how to find online help for using the Volunteer Management System. If you would like to log in to the Volunteer Management System, as you learn through watching this video, simply click your spacebar on your keyboard to pause the video, or you may use your mouse and hover over the triangle icon below the video as shown here. When you click on the play triangle icon, it will turn to two double bars. This is the pause symbol. When you are ready to play the video again, simply click on the pause or the double bar symbol below the video to continue playing the video. First, open your web browser and type in txmn.org into the address line of the web browser. This will take you to the Texas Master Naturalist website. Hover over the Chapter Resources tab and a drop-down menu will reveal the Volunteer Management System link. Click on the link. You have now reached the Volunteer Management System portal webpage. Click on the link, Registered Volunteer Login. A new window or tab will open in your web browser and you will see a login area. Type in your user ID and password that you were given by your system administrator. By now, you should have changed your password. If you have never logged in before, yet have an assigned user ID and password, it is best that you watch our first training video about logging in as a registered user and updating your profile. Once you are ready, click the Login button. We are now at the Volunteer Dashboard webpage. As you get to know the new volunteer management system, you will have to learn a lot of new terms and phrases. A good way to think about the volunteer dashboard is as your personal homepage within the system. Here you can see your six main choices and three other links on the bottom. Edit profile, enable login, and log out. Additionally, on the right hand side is a summary of hours. These hours are the summary for other Texas Parks and Wildlife Department programs and do not include the Texas Master Naturalist Program volunteer hours. Now we shall address our first goal of this lesson, reporting volunteer service hours. We do so by clicking on the Report My Service link in the volunteer dashboard. The Report My Service is the link you will use for entering your service and advanced training hours. When you click on the link, a new web page will open. This web page will have the title Report Service at the top and a drop down menu with your approved opportunities. You may sometimes also hear an administrator refer to the report as a survey. This is merely a volunteer management system software description of this form you are about to fill out and should not be confused with the official dictionary definitions of the term survey. Another unique term you are going to learn is opportunity. Opportunity is the equivalence of what most Master Naturalist members call projects, trainings, or activities. You will hear us say this term a lot throughout the Volunteer Management System training. Let's take a break now and look at the types of surveys. There are four types of surveys or reports for service hours. First, there is the single use survey. This is used when members will only enter hours once for an opportunity. This is often typical of advanced training events. The second type of survey or report is the new opportunity used by members who have a new event or activity that is not in the system. The administrator will create an opportunity based on information provided on the survey if it is approved. Some chapters still choose not to use this, but instead 
continue to use their own approval process. The third type of survey is the report hour survey, also called the multiple use survey used for activities or events where there is prep or finish work done by your members or they recur or they occur over multiple days. The fourth type of survey is the field research survey. The field research survey is also used to document the hours recorded on field research activities such as the Project Feeder Watch and Community Collaborative Rain, Hail and Snow Network. This survey will also allow you to spread your hours worked from multiple days into a single form. We've covered a lot of new terms and concepts. This is a good spot to pause the video and take a break. You can also use this time to log in to the volunteer management system and go to the Report My Service webpage to apply what we have just learned. Let's get back to our first goal of reporting hours. We will begin with reporting advanced training hours. By now you are already on the web page with the title Report My Service. For the first example, I'm going to scroll through my opportunities and choose Baylor Seminars to report service hours. I'll be given menu choices, the first being a drop-down menu where I will choose advanced training and then I will use the calendar icon to bring up the calendar and choose the date of my training. My next choices to fill in are under advanced training, how many hours, two, and what I thought about the training. Next I will describe the service or training. You can use terms as hands-on training, or other appropriate descriptors. Complete all the fields shown and applicable to your opportunity and click the OK button on the bottom left of the web page. Now let's go over an example of reporting a service project. Return to the volunteer dashboard and click on Report My Service. When the Report Service web page loads, I will click on the drop down menu and select McBrayer Park. The first question in the survey is What type of hours are you reporting? From the drop down menu, I will choose Service Project. Next, I will choose the service date from the calendar. The next question asks How many hours did you volunteer? I will type two hours and in the box below it says describe your service or training. I'm going to type in lead trail maintenance day with volunteers. Next, I'm going to scroll down to show the rest of the questions. I will type in the total number of miles I drove round trip. The next three questions concern impact data, which I do have to report since I was the leader for this workday. The first question asks, do you have impact data to report? I'm going to click yes on the radio button. Next it asks, do you have acreage to report? Again, I'm going to click yes. Lastly it asks, do you have trail miles to report? And I will click yes again. Notice that many items popped up below this section for the impact data. My total acreage impacted during this event was 0.25. My total miles were 1.5. And I'm going to scroll down to the next section for the rest of the impact data. Here is where I will fill in the descriptions of my five volunteers. There are sections here for demographic and age, and you can see that it starts with adults and goes through to younger ages. 
My grand total of volunteers for the day was five. After I'm done, I can click on the OK button on the bottom left corner. A thank you page appears and I can go to the right hand menu to click on Volunteer Dashboard to return to my dashboard. Our last report is a chapter meeting example. I went back to my dashboard and clicked on Report My Service. I'm going to choose Administrative Work by clicking on the up-down menu icon showing me my three options. I'm choosing Chapter Administration. The next thing I will report is the service date. I'm going to click on the calendar icon to reach the date May 28, 2015. This is the date of a chapter meeting. Once I'm done I can move to the next section under the title Volunteer Hours. This section asks how many hours did you volunteer? In the parentheses you'll have to go to the nearest quarter hour including travel time. So it took me 1.25 hours including my round trip travel to reach the chapter meeting. The subsequent section is Chapter Administration. The drop-down menu allows me to choose Chapter Meeting and I can describe my service or training if I so choose. And here I'm going to type in Discussing Events and Trainings. For my personal record, what was the total number of miles I drove? It was 16. Scrolling down on the bottom left I click OK to complete this report. Here is my thank you message and I can choose to make another entry or I can choose one of the options on the right hand side menu. A very important thing to remember is that you only have 45 days from the date of service to report your service hours. We've reached another good point where you can take a break, report service, or just take a few relaxing breaths. Now we shall address our second goal of this lesson, how to view the logbook. The logbook is located at the volunteer dashboard. Click on the link View My Logbook in the volunteer dashboard. A new web page will appear. Not only will your logbook show you the most recent entry, but you can also use the calendar tool in the upper right of the screen to see previous service records you have entered. Once you've selected the date range you wish to search, click the Go button below the calendar tool. By changing the date range, you can view service hours for a week, a month, and a year. Additionally, you have options to click on any entry and edit selected records or delete selected records by simply clicking on the checkbox to the left of the record. The logbook is a record of hours where you can post service and advanced training hours, or edit or delete postings. Once your chapter personnel or administrator has approved a logbook entry, the entry cannot be modified or deleted by you. It must be deleted or edited by your administrator. Additionally, you can find your status for recertification and milestones. For recertification, select January 1st of the current year and go to the bottom Hours Summary section. There you will see if you have reached 40 Texas Master Naturalist hours and 8 Advanced Training hours required for that year's recertification. For milestones, select a year prior to your time as a Master Naturalist and then scroll to the bottom Hours Summary section. There you will see the total Texas Master Naturalist hours you have accumulated toward your milestone awards. A very unique feature of the summary is that you can scroll left and right in this grid area. Don't get confused if you see zero under approved hours. You have to actually scroll to the right to see the Texas Master Naturalist and advanced training approved hours. A last reminder here, the logbook entries must be posted within 45 calendar days 
from the date of your service or attendance of the event. Now is our last break reminder. You can use this time to apply what you have learned so far and look through your logbook. Once you are done, you can click on the logout link located on the right hand side of the web page. If you are in the volunteer dashboard, the logout link is the link below my referrals icon on the bottom right of the web page. It is always a good practice to log out from a web-based software system or any system that requires a user ID and password. We have now reached the final goal for this training, how to find online help using the volunteer management system. If you have questions or need help at any time, click on the VMS Help Desk link on the portal webpage. Clicking on the link will take you to the Volunteer Management System Fresh Desk webpage. This webpage offers such options as FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions, documents such as a volunteer guide, and video links to training videos. As a last resort, you may email tmnvms at gmail.com. In this video lesson, you learn first, how to report your service hours, second, how to view your logbook, and third, how to find online help for using the volunteer management system. We hope this video was helpful and the staff and supporters of the Texas Master Naturalist Program look forward to working with you.